Hey Dodgers fans, I'm Cheyenne Finch and I've just finished The Last Innocence by Michael Leahy. If baseball is your thing, you'll love this book. It takes place in the 1960s and follows seven Dodgers through issues with racism and social class inequality. Sound familiar? It's not just perfect for Dodgers fans, but also relevant to the issues you see on the news today. There is definitely a lot to learn from this story. Now, I don't want to spoil anything, but during the 1963 World Series, even with the Cold War tensions and the Kennedy assassination happening all around them, the players were still focused on the game. When Maury Wills ran for second base during the pitcher's pickoff attempt, I couldn't put the book down. You can almost picture the Yankees' confusion and imagine the infielder scrambling. It almost feels like you're there watching the game in person. The book gets really emotional later on. Lou Johnson was traded to so many teams, but experienced the most racism in Anaheim. After playing for the Angels, he retired and his life took a sad, unexpected turn. My favorite part of the story has to be Wes Parker going into the major leagues. His obstacles were different from most players. Unlike some of his teammates, Parker came from a wealthier background. This led to questions of whether he had the necessary toughness, mentally and physically, to play the game. Most people assumed he wouldn't be hungry enough to survive the major leagues. Parker questioned himself as well. Even with the emotional scars of his past and his professional worries, he chose to focus on playing hard and winning the respect of his peers. We had a chance to speak with author Michael Leahy, and he says he wanted Dodgers who could open a window on what it was like to play in the 1960s. He wanted a cross-section of players among the seven principal characters, different backgrounds, different sets of problems and challenges, different skill levels and temperaments. In the book, Leahy tells of the amazing friendship between Sandy Koufax and Maury Wills. He says Koufax was a wonderfully insightful subject about Wills and the two men's unique friendship. On the brink of breaking Ty Cobb's single-season stolen base record, Wills was being subjected to hate mail from white racists. Koufax received vile letters from anti-Semites. The two men kidded each other as they went through the ugly notes. No two teammates could have cared more about each other. Leahy says the three players whose stories had a profound effect on him were Maury Wills, Wes Parker, and Lou Johnson. What those three men endured early in their lives makes their improbable successes all the more inspiring but each of the seven principal characters deeply moved Leahy in some way. How? Well, you're going to have to read the book to find out for yourself. Let us know in the comments who you related to. Once again, I'm Cheyenne Finch, and thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to follow us on Twitter at Dodgers Nation and me at Sideline Source. Hit subscribe, hit like, and comment below, and let us know what you think about the book.